Good afternoon guys, I just want to share my 600 amp hour lithium batteries. About 8 months ago, I started with a 200 amp Balborn lithium batteries. Uh, it works but you need more power than 200 amp hours. So I moved to 300, no change. And then 400, that is the sweet spot in between. Uh, I can run the fridge. And the exhaust fan for about two to three days without running the generator or the engine sorry for the noise but i will need to run the ac because it's really hot inside as you can see inverter is off i'm not plugged to shore power that is pure power coming from the lithium batteries Generator is not running as well. I set it to 71, bump it to 72 to be fair. Compressor is on. The draw is 34.5. It's going up, but it will stop. It will be below 60 amps. That's it for the power. It's pulling only 52 amps below 60 amps. But I am going to set it to number five. So you can hear me better. The fan will slow down, but it's still gonna blow a cold air. Okay. So for this project, the inverter charger, Xantrex Freedom X 2000 Watt inverter stayed. The same thing with the solar charge control. I still have the 200 watts uh, flexible panel on top. The only changes I did for these two are the settings. Change it to lithium, same thing as this one. I can uh, link a uh, uh, a site for this one on YouTube on how to change it. It's really easy or I can make one Let's see right now fan is running 5% compressor is on It's only drawing 32.3 amps That's it and it's still uh, <clears throat> and still blowing cold air so With the 600 amp hour lithium batteries you might need a better battery monitor and I don't have a lot of money to spend so I went ahead to this Renogy battery monitor it works really good it can tell you the draw it will tell you uh, the charge states on how many amps is going in it's really nice to have this one it's really helpful I advise to have this one uh, to be installed at the same time with your lithiums The next one that I changed is the BIM160. I changed it with uh, the Lee BIM225. The wiring of this rig came like that from Coachman. Pardon me. And I will try to change this one this coming fall uh, for not traveling again. Because I'm trying to balance my projects and our out-of-town trips to use the van so if you see these blocks over here the red one and the black one those are the first upgrade and I did on this unit when I got it all of the red ones before are connected to the AGM battery terminals all of them same thing as the ground so I went ahead and separate all of them Red is the red in one uh, bus bar, same with the negative, which is the black one. And I only have one wire now going inside the camper van, which is this one. 
to be connected to the positive side of uh, the lithium batteries the same thing as the negative one I'll put the things that I use in the description below to complete this project if, and if you guys are wondering uh, if the six battleborne batteries took a lot of space this is how it looks like right now noodle for the beach goggles and stuff leveling blocks my toolbox our tent our portable table So this is where I put my 600 amp lithium batteries. I'm not sure if you can see it. That's it for the video guys for my lithium upgrade. I'm so sorry I didn't wrap it up last night. It started to rain. But anyway the water tank and the generator are still on the same location i have not touched them or moved them uh, if you have any questions regarding this upgrade feel free to get in touch with me thank you so much and have a good day